Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. I have a lot of candle jars that I had saved um, after I was done burning candles. I was originally going to be using them to make candles of my own from the wax that I had melted in wax melts. But um, I guess my candles were melting faster than I could make candles from the melts. So I have all these jars here and I'm going to be tossing some of them out and keeping some of them. But I wanted to show you guys first of all uh, what I have burnt basically in the last two to three weeks and um, just give you my you know tiny little review on each one of them. So let's get started. The first one is from Bath and Body Works and this is New York, New York, the Big Apple. And isn't it funny that I said New York, New York, and you think of like cars beeping and stuff and all of a sudden someone started beeping outside. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. But anyway, this is the New York, New York candle. This is a three wick. I actually got this in a D stash and um, this candle I could not smell at all. Like very, very, very faint scent. I would not repurchase this candle. Um... It's supposed to have like a juicy apple scent and I couldn't smell it at all and I even had it in my bedroom which is a bigger bedroom but a fairly smaller room compared to obviously a living room. Um, and as you can see the wicks kind of got a little gross on the bottom. They were really really thick wicks um, and the wax turned a really poopy brown kind of color and it just wasn't a good candle at all and I would not purchase it again. The second candle that I have is Kinky Cougar and this is by Granny's Country Candles and as you can see the burn on this was pretty flawless. The um, glass is kind of clouded a little bit but when I um, got down to burning towards the end, the wick moved way, way to the side. And that was only on the last burn. Other than that, everything um, melted perfectly. The wax stayed nice and blue, as you can see. It did not change color at all. And um, I had this in the guinea pig room, and this candle literally filled up the whole entire room, um, more so than the Bath and Body Works candle for sure. Um, so this little bugger here was really, really strong. Um, next, I did a Goose Creek candle, and this is in the scent Orange Tree, and I'm going to be keeping this and um, saving this to store certain things in, maybe tarts or whatever. I really like the label, even though I hate cats. I absolutely can't stand cats. I'm a dog person, but um, I do love the label on this. As you can see, the jar turned really black. There was a lot of soot on this one. Um, again, I did not trim the wick on this because if I did, the candle would have gone out. So it's kind of um, a catch-22. It's like either you trim the wick and then you have problems with the wick or you don't trim the wick and you get the soot. So if you guys know what to do, just help me out and let me know. But this is so strong. Even smelling it in the jar, it was strong. The oil was everywhere. It was extremely oily, extremely fragrant, and it, extremely beautiful. And it actually smells just like you would think an orange tree would smell like. We don't have oranges, orange trees here in Wisconsin. But that was a really, really good candle to get. Next, I have um, a village candle. This is one I got at Home Goods, and this is called Juicy Melon. And this candle um, was pretty good. I did a review on this candle plus two others, so I'm not going to get too much into it, but it smells great. And um, there's still oil on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll probably put this on my um, hot plate to get that last bit up but as you can see the soot only collected a tiny little bit on one side right there otherwise everything was great with this candle I really have good luck with village candles and burns no problems and then I paired um, the orange tree this one up with Yankee Candle Dreamsicle and this is a medium jar and I really love this candle I'm gonna be keeping this one also because of the label as you can see it's a really cute label and I had no problems with this one whatsoever this one burned all the way down to the bottom I scooped up a little bit of wax um, just to get it out of there but there's a tiny little set 
on the top but other than that um I didn't I do have a few rings on the sides not that bad though um so that one burned pretty well for a medium jar for Yankee and I didn't use a sweater didn't use an alumalid nothing okay so here's a really bad set one this is Malaysian palm by Yankee candle and this is in the world journeys this is a two wick pillar and as you can see it was really really bad um i could have trimmed the wick on this and not had a problem with it but miss angela kind of forgot so this whole thing up here is kind of my fault but anyway um this smelled like a tropical oasis this is a candle that i would definitely repurchase i really love this one a lot and um i got this one at home goods before they raised their prices another candle that i got was um, a Yankee Candle Evening Primrose. And this one I'm gonna save too. The jar is so pretty. And um, I did trim the wick on each burn for this one. This one did have a little bit of soot um, on the top. Not too bad. Had an even, even Steven burn though, all the way down. I did use a sweater on this because I um, actually took this one from my mom's house and she, doesn't know how to burn a Yankee candle. She just kind of um, had it burn and didn't get an even wax pool and then just blew it out, kept on relighting it, and it's like, oh my God, let me save this candle. So I took it from her and saved it. And then we've got Bath & Body Works Seaside Escape. Um, unfortunately, the label cracked, so I will be throwing that one away. But this one was really good also. I didn't have any problems with the wicks whatsoever smells so good very very tropical very very fresh and as you can see there's no wax on the sides and um just a little bit of discoloration with the wax on the bottom but nothing bad at all then i got one of my favorites this is summertime s'mores from bath and body works this one i paired with my yankee candle uh, campfire treat pillar but um, this one burned out before this one did, so I'm probably going to be getting another one of these. But this smells so good, and the burn was awesome. A little bit of uh, soot on the sides, but really, really good burn. Um, no, no wax residue on the sides. It was just awesome. I would highly consider buying three more of these just to keep in the house for the summertime. And then... The last candle I'm going to talk about is a Village Candle in Cherry Vanilla Swirl. I love this one because I love the label. I had absolutely no problems again with this burn. Actually, I could probably light it one more time. Um, I don't know why I took this one down, but yeah, I could light it one more time. And this cherry is so strong. It's cherry uh, first, the big, big burst of cherry, and then a tiny little bit of vanilla in there uh, mixed with the creaminess of the ice cream. And... Oh my gosh, this is like a favorite candle of mine to get. Um, again, no wax set on the top, absolutely none, and an even burn all the way down, and there um, is still some oil in there as well. So that is my review on the candles that I have been burning like for the past two to three weeks. I would say probably three to four weeks, um, but yeah, I've just kind of been keeping the jars, wanting to do a video like this, and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down below. And have a good day. Bye, guys.